Scorpio, welcome to Karina Star Tarot. This is your May 2021 tarot reading. Please bear in mind that it's a general reading, so take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your Moon, Venus and Rising signs in some of my other readings. Also, I'm currently having a sale on private readings and you can now purchase a private reading from me for only £20. It's a real bargain and it's for a limited time only. So if you're interested in purchasing a private reading from me, then you can click on the link in the description box directly below this video. Thank you. Also, just a quick reminder, please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. And Scorpio, thank you very much for all the support you give me last month. I really appreciate all the views, all the subscribes. Thank you very much. So let's jump in straight into your reading. And I'm using the Royale Gilded Tarot to start off your reading. And I will clarify some of your cards using the Light Seers Tarot deck. So the first card out for you is the Hierophant. as Taurus energy. So you could be dealing with Taurus. Then we have the Hang, the Hanging Man. That's Neptune energy. Then next we have the Seven of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles. Then we have the Lovers. You could also be dealing with a Gemini. The major arcana cards have the dominant energies, so that's why you could potentially be dealing with Taurus or Gemini in this reading. And I've got the Four of Swords. Temperance, you could be dealing with Sagittarius. Also got the Empress. This is Taurus Libran energy. Could be dealing with any of those signs. And we've got the Death card. That's Scorpio energy. You're coming out in your reading, which is great to see. And of course, you could be dealing with a fellow sign. Could be dealing with Scorpio as well. We have the Ten of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. I must say, the cards you're getting out are looking really great for you, yet again, because I know that you've had a, quite a, a few readings that have been not so good, but the last reading was really positive for you, and it looks like this is going to be another positive reading for you. And finally, we have the Six of Wands. So let's take a look at what these cards mean for you. And like I said, I will clarify these cards. It does look like, having look at, looked at the top deck, there's some sort of commitment coming in. Um... It could speak about a higher level of commitment um, in a relationship for some of you. I feel that whatever is coming in, this is definitely indicating a higher level of commitment, such as a marriage or in an engagement or a higher level commitment that involves living together. This is what this is all about, the Hierophant, for you. 
but we've got the hanging man coming up next to it this could indicate something is not moving and I feel it's in regards to this commitment marriage engagement a higher level of commitment something may be delayed there could be a delay with the hanging man it could be that things haven't are not quite going the way you wanted them to go but i will clarify this card to find out what the the reason why things are not moving for you and then we've got the seven of pentacles for some of you this could be about making that progress in your career in your business in the workplace um putting in the work the time the effort perhaps a lot of you have been really working hard to try to get a promotion to try to get a salary increase perhaps you're thinking of changing your career path here it could be also to do with actually i'm going to pick this card up again for you actually also looking at the two cards prior to this it could also be related to money there could be an issue there could be a delay with this proposal of marriage or, or things going forward or moving or moving forwards for you because perhaps you need to save up more money perhaps there is um, a problem with your finances maybe there's a need to save up but it's a positive card because it um, it, it looks like whether it's to do with the marriage or a career, um, the work is being put in by you and maybe the other person concerned. Um, it could be back to the drawing board, trying to find ways in which to improve your financial situation or whatever is keeping you stuck and not able to move on. Um, just um, finding ways uh, through this in order for you to be able to get what you want at the end of the day um, I see you're very resourceful here some of you could be enhancing your skill set studying burning the midnight oil um, but a lot of hard work is being put in a lot of dedication a lot of time a lot of effort and it, this coming the lovers coming directly under the hierophant um, this is a lot to do with love. I feel, I, I see for some of you, especially with the Pentacles cards coming up before, for some of you single Scorpios out there, there could be new love coming in for you, most definitely. I, I feel definitely very strongly about that. But also for those of you already in a commitment and wanting to take it to the next level, such as it, get engaged or get married, um, there is definitely... Even for you single ones, uh, there's, a there's a lot of balance, there's a lot of love. Um, and like I said, I'm going to clarify this card actually for you because I think um, there's more going on than... I mean, I, I see there's a commitment, definitely. They're very, You're very committed to each other for those of you already in a well-established relationship. There's a lot of commitment, there's a lot of love. Um, but there are challenges. Um such as delays um perhaps finances uh keeping you stuck in your present situation some of you with four swords may need to cut cut back on certain things some of you may be overdoing it maybe your energy levels have dipped or maybe you're taking time out to think about things to find ways of resolving your problems or your issues but I do sense a kind of dip in energy that you may need to um, restore your energy meditate um, just take some time out and it's gonna I feel that it's gonna do wonders for you for you because after you've got the temperance card um, this is all about having that balance and harmony you know um, and patience as well. Um, I feel that this situation for a lot of you may call 
for you to have a bit of patience that that things will work out for you um it, it's it's a card that all is going to be well it, the outcome will be good for you um and again you know there might be a need for you to find that balance you know restore your balance and just balance every all those different areas of your life out more so that your energy stays to the to a higher level you know so that you can go about your everyday tasks and and you're on top of your game basically and what a lovely positive card for you to have here the empress this is potentially all going to be resolved for sure, absolutely without a doubt um i see growth around you opportunities doors opening um there's definitely definitely going to be a change in your financial situation if that's what's keeping you stuck in your present situation definitely um for those of you who are hoping to get that promotion that's that's definitely going to happen and for those of you who are who are whose relationship is going to a higher level of commitment, there could also be children involved. There could be a pregnancy in the near future, and and that would be great. That would complete uh, your family for you. Um, I I feel that there's a lot of passion and creativity within you. Um, I think once your energy and your balance is restored, this is the outcome for you, basically. It's potentially really rewarding in, in so many different ways. And I feel the death card is the end of something, you know, uh, an ending of something and something new beginning. And I say this, definitely, whatever troubles or whatever things are keeping you stuck from moving forward, whether it's financial issues, whether it's trying to make progress in your career, having to learn a new skill set, or entering into that high level of commitment, find new love. Any stress or struggle that you have is coming to an end, I'm sure of it here, because straight after we've got the Ten of Wands. So this is an end to your burdens, to your stress, to your struggles. It, it's all going to come together for you, basically. And look at you, you're flourishing. The Queen of Pentacles here, you're flourishing. Um, you have reached that point here, I feel, where you, you're financially stable. Um, you're in your element, basically. You're, you're, you're buzzing with ideas, creativity. Um, this is just completion, you know, this is just, um, having that financial security, feeling happy, feeling great, feeling really on form, you know, just all those things are really beautiful. And straight after this comes the Ten of Pentacles, definitely financially, without a doubt, there is going to be an increase um, in your life. Uh, your life is going to be very enriched, not just because of financial um, improvements, but it's all the areas of your life put together. Um, financial stability, self-fulfillment, finding that special person in your life, having inspiration, creativity, um, it's a bright future. It's full of happiness and positivity. It's, it's a chance for you to maybe realise some of your dreams and to round it all off, what more could you ask for? We've got the Six of Wands, this is progress, this is victory, this is success. So whatever your situation, whether you're meeting someone new, get entering into a higher level of commitment, getting married, engaged, wanting that promotion, wanting your finances to improve, there's progress 
and victory and success in all those areas. And I'm absolutely happy for you because it's so brilliant. I can't believe what a beautiful reading you have. Yeah, again. So you're you're definitely in a very, very lucky period at the moment, Scorpio. So make the most of it. Grab all of those opportunities. You know, this is a rare thing indeed. So I'm going to clarify some of these cards, like I said. And I'm going to use the Light Seers Tarot. And the first card I'm going to clarify for you is the Hierophant. And that's clarified by the Ace of Wands. Beautiful. I'm going to get another clarification out on that, actually. Also Temperance. Beautiful temperance um it's kind of yeah I, I, yeah i feel that i'm just going to also clarify the hanging man so that i can put this together for you that's clarified by the death and rebirth card so to me that makes an awful lot of sense um so clarifying the hierophant we have the ace of wands and temperance which again is sagittarius energy so yeah Patience is needed. Um, someone or some someone may be a bit sorry that this is things have been a bit stalled. Maybe asking for you to have patience. Maybe it could also be about you know um, connecting with your intuition, uh, wanting to get going on this new start, get moving, maybe feeling a little bit impatient, but the cards tend you to be patient. Um, everything's going to come together. Go with the flow. Uh, you are resourceful with the Ace of Wands here. You have a lot of ideas, a lot of creative ideas. You are very adept at getting yourself out of situations. And so trust in yourself, basically, because this high level of commitment is going to happen and then clarifying the hanging man we've got the death card and death and rebirth card and i'm glad this this is clarified death and rebirth card and this is scorpio energy so absolutely this is going to be an end to whatever's been keeping you stuck or feel feel like you're trapped in a situation that you can't get things moving because maybe certain restrictions certain things that have happened that have stopped things from moving forward that's coming to an end here an absolute end all of that is coming to an end for sure so i'm going to think what shall i clarify next let's see Yeah, I, I feel like I'm going to, I might clarify, I'm very tempted to go and clarify the, the lovers first. Um, yeah, I, I feel like I'm going to. I'm going to clarify the lovers, definitely. Um, yeah, I feel like with the lovers, that's actually clarified by the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Cups. So there's definitely um, a celebration and a change in fortunes here for you where love is concerned. It's, if you're single, and you're look, and you're looking for someone special to come in your life. That's definitely going to happen with the wheel of fortune and the three of cups celebrating. Um, sorry, clarifying the lovers. This tells me that there is a change in your current circumstances. If you're single, that's all going to change. Um, love is coming in for you. This is time to celebrate. For those of you who are entering into a high level commitment, yeah, all of this is also going to change. Like I said, the situation is going to change. It's going to improve in a positive way for you and it's going to be cause for celebration and both these cards clarify the lovers and the will of fortune is all the fixed signs so 
yeah let me think what I'm going to clarify next I actually feel like I'm actually going to go straight because these cards are so positive for you I don't feel like I need to clarify too many of them I'm going to go straight to the six of wands and I'm going to clarify that for you so I mean you've got so many positive cards I don't feel it's necessary to clarify too many of them for you um, but clarifying the six of wands we've got the eight of wands and the chariot and the lovers which has come up for you twice now so could be dealing with Gemini and then can and then the chariot is cancer energy so you could be dealing with cancer as well so yeah all of these cards clarify the eight of wands which is here okay I'm gonna put that there actually so yeah there is news coming in um, for you and it's very positive news and it could be related especially if some of you are after that promotion or a salary increase there's potentially good news here also there could be good news related around um, I think this high level of commitment, marriage or engagement, there's news. You can expect good news, I think, on, on, in many areas of your life. A lot of you are going to be receiving really good news. And this allows things to get moving. You can, you, you, you're able to move on with determination, with enthusiasm, um, with excitement, with speed. It's all brilliant. And uh, what beautiful cards have come out to clarify um, the six of wands here I don't think you could ask for better and then also to end it we've got the lovers yeah so things are definitely going to get moving and there's definitely going to be pro progression and success harmony and balance in love what more can I say this is just a brilliant reading for you Scorpio so I'm actually going to get you out some uh, Love Island cards now I wish I was Scorpio at the moment <laughs> You're having such luck here. But alas, I'm not Scorpio. So let's see what we've got for the Love Island cards. We've got kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Beautiful. And we've got twin flames. Yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. So yeah, uh, definitely complement each other. There's a lot of balance here. Uh, you're coming into union and yeah, you're meeting that really someone really special for those of you who are single and for those of you already in a relationship and get into a, go into a high level of commitment, you complement each other. It's just balance. It's perfect. <laughs> and we've got abundance. Yeah so many cards here indicate abundance we've got the empress we've got the ten of pentacles the queen of pentacles i mean christ all of this the, the will of fortune the six of wands uh definitely clarifies the abundance card uh keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want and it's about gratitude and having and uh, being blissful basically so abundance is definitely waiting for you grab it with both arms i'd say and we've got soulmates yeah some of you could be potentially meeting your soulmates soul connection partnership agreement soul contract so not only a twin flame for some of you for some of you it could be a soulmate even so these cards are beautiful for you i don't really know what else to say i'm going to get you out some romance angels i think that seems quite appropriate at the back of the deck we've got romantic feelings so those of you meeting someone new there's definitely some romance we're definitely going to be romanced for sure then what else have we got for you we've got getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens yeah engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment beautiful 
soulmate yes this is your soulmate so like i said some of you are meeting your soulmate some of you could already make your soulmate and entering into that high level of commitment oh my god you are so lucky and then we've got wedding can you believe that <laughs> engagement or wedding this situation involves marriage absolutely there's a marriage on the cards for some of you most definitely we we'll put that there oh my god <laughs> I, I wasn't going to get the next card out, but got love yourself first. So your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Why not? It's a positive thing, isn't it? Love yourself first. So I'm going to get some Moonology cards out for you to wrap this up. So you've got a win-win forecast is a win-win outcome is forecast and that's the full moon in libra so it seems like you can't win you can't lose this is a positive situation and you know if you feel stuck or like things are not moving on things that you know that things are going to improve for you definitely um and a win-win forecast is is expected in in a lot of these situations for you here and then you've got your hard work is paying off and that's the new moon in Capricorn. Yeah, a lot of some, a lot of you were burning the midnight oil, really very being very resourceful, doing all you can to help your situation along here. And then we've got an, a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. So as a lot of you are meeting someone new and potentially down the line, it could be a very successful union, I'd say, for a lot of you. Um, yeah, I think that's enough. So I am going to leave it there because I am ecstatic for you. This is a beautiful reading for you, Scorpio. I really wish you luck. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all soon. Bye.